Hi everyone, welcome back. Today we're going to be drawing a boat. I've been getting a lot of requests to do a boat drawing. Um, and boats are just beautiful objects. I love drawing them, even though I don't know much about boats. I never go on boats, but I live near the water and I just love looking at them and the graceful shapes that they have. And, but they could be tricky objects to draw, especially to get the curves of the hull in perspective. Um, so the way I typically like to start out is to first understand kind of the rectangle of space that the ship takes up, right? So the, that hull can get tricky unless you understand that first. So here I'm going to draw this rectangle in space, get a center line down, and then you'll notice I just get these kind of three basic lines of the hull, the, the, the left and right side and the underside. Um, and once you have that in, in perspective, you can do a lot. So here's, here's another angle um, coming at us, a little bit more of a dynamic perspective. Once we nail those three lines of the hull, everything else starts to hinge off of that. So here we have some, uh, some details, some windshield, some decking, some engines. On this first one, let's say there's kind of a, a sunken you know, part in the front of the boat here with some seating, uh, and maybe some kind of a console here, and then uh, a rear bench seat where people could kind of hang out. We'll get the decking in perspective and the engines. You can see how just getting that decking down really gives the, the whole thing a lot of perspective and realism. So now that you understand how to get those three lines in, let's, let's do a little bit of a bigger view. Bam. We'll start again with those three lines of the hull. And I'm going to start to kind of break out that hull um, and then get some kind of a, a windscreen in here. Let's do a smaller kind of a speedboat. Um, and let's see, like maybe once we start getting in that, that hull, let's pop a couple of engines in the back here. Just kind of interacting with this sloping rear deck. Um, maybe we'll do this thing where the, the deck kind of uh, steps down on either side of the cockpit there. So you can see you have this, this uh, raised kind of front deck and then it sinks down as you get to the rear um, into this bench seat in the back where a bunch of people can hang out. Uh, let's get the center line in there so you kind of understand where that sink is. And then from that, I'll use that center line to hinge all of my decking off of. And maybe some kind of a, a floating console. So some kind of a neat little projected console up here. And what's a boat without a pilot with a, with a striped navy shirt, right? So let's get him kind of sketched in. So now, now that I have the line work kind of loosely in, I'll start applying some marker for the decking. And so I want to do this before I really go crazy with the line work so that the, the marker doesn't totally interact with the pen. So just some light lines here and it won't freak out the ballpoint too much. Now that I have that, that decking kind of in with the marker, I'll start to come in heavier with the ballpoint, some, some basic hatching. You'll notice when I do my hatching, I always have it going in the same general direction. It never cross hatches. It's only ever a single, single hatch. I'm going to use that hatching on the engines here too really quickly to, to give some dimension, right? So I, I went over once with one layer hatching and then another layer on the side surfaces. Let, let's add some decking on the back here too so that that wood kind of really flows over the whole shape nicely. And I'm going to come in here with, with some shadow using my line weight to create shadow so you could get the sense of depth on those steps to understand that the decking really goes down. And now we're going to really power through on that windshield. You know what? I think we got to switch to the Sharpie here. Right? Just to force, force my line weight to be a little bit heavier. Uh, and say there's some, some trim around that window. Coming back with the ballpoint, let's say there's some kind of a, a reflection hitting that glass. Uh, reflected light coming off the water. Uh, again, notice how I'm using my hatching here, right? So notice I'm using the hatching all in the same direction, going from dark to light. Whoops, hit the this, hit this camera. Now I'm coming back in really powering in some details on the underside of the glass. Back with the Sharpie, kind of darkening up some of that line weight. And notice how I use the Sharpie, I really let it feather out so I could still get line weight even with a Sharpie, right? It's not just one consistent line. I can let it um, feather out using pressure, right? By going harder to softer with it. So now it's, it's really starting to take shape. I have that decking in and now I have some powered in line weight. Let's get some more dimension on this console. Maybe there's a, some, some venting details on here um, and really push the underside of that. And kind of shade in that, that bench seat. And you know, I, I think it needs some, some speed lines coming off you know, as if it's displacing water in, in the sketch, right? A little dimension to the side of the hull. Now coming back with the Sharpie, 
darken up some of those window reflections. Uh, just really make that pop. And I think we got to go back, coming back with the blue. I wasn't going to use blue in this, but we need to get his blue stripes on the pilot shirt there. I think uh, having some blue sidewalls to this cockpit will help it stand out a little bit more, give it a little bit more dimension, uh, a little bit more interest in the glass, too. When I rotate the paper, and notice that you get that, uh, that stripe in the side of the hull. Sometimes there's just no way to get the line other than to, to rotate the paper so you can let that line flow off from the hinge of your, your shoulder and your elbow. A little bit of uh, wood grain in the decking, and you know what? I'm just not happy with the way the engines turned out, so I'm going to black them in completely. Um, with a Sharpie. And remember this technique I used a couple of weeks ago in that razor sketch, right, where I came back in with the white pencil over top of the Sharpie. So I'm going to use that technique here uh, and mix the techniques up a little bit just to, to give a little bit of different dimension to those engines. Coming in with some extra white here. There you have it. Quick speedboat sketch. Uh, the sketch in total took about 30 minutes. As always, if you have any questions, feel free to comment below. And I'd love to hear your suggestions for future videos. So please comment below and uh, subscribe if you want to see some more. All right, everybody. We'll see you next time. Happy sketching.